Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and today I'm showing you the uh, Digit app that uh, for this the Motorola Zyboard 8.2 that works with the integrated IR that is in the uh, tablet. It's also available on the 10.1 as well. Uh, basically, uh, let's go into it. I'm going to add a device. Just want to show you exactly um, what happens. Uh, we're going to say TV and you can quickly sc scroll down to the P's because I'm looking for Panasonic and there's Panasonic now this lets you actually input the exact model number or you can kind of select from some preset remotes and see if it works well for you if you don't have the model number but if you have the TV in front of you you should be able to find the uh, model number uh, and, and now we're going to go ahead and put it in the the keyboard uh, moves a little slow for whatever reason in this app p x 77 u now it actually gives me three remotes for this particular model number i'm not sure why but all three of them uh, pretty much worked. Uh, one of them had a minor thing going on with the exit button. But I'm just going to go with uh, remote one right now. And basically gives you a chance to test the remote before you accept it. But right now, uh, we're just going to hit done. Now you can, this is a layout that gives you a standard layout. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we can uh, edit the buttons. And uh, that took a little bit of time to come up. So but basically what you can do is delete certain buttons that you already have and then move up buttons from here. Now the problem lies, and I've tested all those three remotes that they gave me options for, some buttons are missing that are on my remote, like for example aspect for changing the aspect ratio is unavailable to me. Uh, that's a little bit of a issue, but uh, I guess for most people it probably wouldn't be a big deal, but I'd like to see you know, as long as I'm putting the model number and the database is there, it should have it all. Now, the standard control here, usually you have your navigation with up, down, left, right. They've got it kind of set up like almost like a mouse pad, uh, which kind of works okay, but let's say you don't want that. You can get rid of that quickly and then scroll over here um, to the end. And you can go with, say, a D-pad. Now this is the other problem. Sometimes you can see it doesn't stay with me to move up. It's this is a little bit of, of quirky. Once you get it, huh. once you get it, it does it, it works well. But I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing wrong. And see, this is taking a bunch of times here. And I'll probably edit the video just so you don't have to sit and me watch me f this fail a bunch of times. All right, we got it. <laughs> And I move it right in the center, and there it is. So now I have a control pad. Now I'm also going to add um, the back button because I forget in this particular situation if the exit was working because I think I need that. So that's probably going to take a couple of seconds to do as well. All right, there it goes. So I'm going to just put that there for now. But like I said, you can even move things around and do all that. So basically, that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, let's now go in front of the TV and uh, you know see how it works. Okay, here we are in front of the TV, and I'm just going to test a few buttons because right now I don't control my channels with the TV. But um, basically, there's the uh, TV. I'm going to just hit the menu button here, and there it goes. It goes right on. So. Uh, if I hit the, um, both back and exit worked worked in this particular situation. It's uh, got a Motorola Razor Max commercial on right there. And the exit button worked. So, uh, basically, and then I changed it to a D-pad. There's the menu again. So I'm just going to press down. And you can see the, uh, it's going down. And then exit. So basically it works pretty good. Sometimes you have to hold the button down a little bit. But it does work. Now let's do it with, see how the integration is with satellite TV. Alright, so now I've already set up my DirecTV uh, receiver. Um, 
So it's not going to have you watch me go through all that, but basically it also gives you the option of setting up different rooms as well. So you can have, whoops, you can have living room and all that good stuff and you can go from guy, uh, devices, you can select which device to actually operate and then also the guide. Now, let's just say, uh, for example, um, you want to uh, add an activity so it controls all your devices at once. So you say add an activity and we're going to call this watch TV but you can also do a custom one. So we're going to watch TV and then you can basically select what you want as part of that activity. And we want obviously the TV and the direct TV uh, satellite. And if you have an AV receiver that could be included as well or whatever. You can select, select, have other types of things like for watch DVDs or you know or whatever you want to do and um, basically select which is going to change the channel. So obviously the, the, um, the direct TV is where you want to change the channel and not the, um, the TV. So that's easy. And then you just go and then you can kind of customize your power on and off. Like for example, do you want them both to go off or whatever? And then you can quickly save it. And now you've got, you have an activity. So you can actually control, you know, control each device separately if you want for more control or just, you know, go right to watch TV. Um, whoops, I hit the wrong one. Watch TV. So, and then of course you can, you can go to your guide and quickly see what's on and, you know, go back and forth. Uh, but now let's go in front of the TV now and see how it all integrates um, with the satellite receiver. All right, we're in front of the TV now, and we happen to be watching um, NFL Network, and uh, we're looking at the guide, and you can choose dates and all that good stuff. You can go to different times, but right now we're looking at what's on now, and let's say, okay, the, you know, the playoffs are about to start here, so let's just say we want to do NFL today, so there it is there, so we're going to select that. And basically, it loads up information about the particular show, uh, so you can see. So if it's obviously a, a you know a TV show, uh, in prime time, it's going to tell you what it's about and all that good stuff. And then basically, you just select watch here, and now you can see right there, and that's what we're watching. But it's going, it just changed the channel uh, to that. So that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, very nice. Um, of course, you can go back and you can go into devices and it's already set to watch TV. So then I can make do controls here for volume and uh, channel numbers to scroll up and down. So basically, if I hit uh, channel, it's, it's moving the channels right here. So it actually going up, it went to the non-HD version of that channel. So it's going to the next channel and all that good stuff. So... Um, so pretty straightforward and you can quickly go right back to the guide and you can scroll to anything you want so you can switch it so let's just say um, again you can make it so it doesn't show everything um, there's a few good men we're certainly not going to watch a movie right now with football coming up but what the heck just kind of show it here oh it's not a movie anyway or is it yeah, it is a movie. I just didn't I didn't recognize that picture. Don't know why the regular picture of the movie is not in there. But anyway, so I can quickly hit watch. And it's uh, switching right to, whoops, a few good men. So the integration is very nice. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to use this as my regular remote. But it is kind of fun and convenient. And it's nice to have. I think... Um, Motorola did very good integration. It did had did very uh, good with the integration with this, um, had, including the IR, and it's uh, it's uh, you know really nice. So um, that's it. So this is uh, Robin Zering with Talk Android.